Sorry about that. I got interrupted. In terms of who we define as not in the labor force, not in the labor force essentially consists of um, those who are retired, those who are lazy, those who are rich, those who are going to school full time. That's a pretty good um, part of it. And then there's also this other category of those who are discouraged, um, which is something that we'll talk about uh, a little bit um, later here. To mean that you're discouraged means that you're out of work, but you've given up looking for work because you just think that things are so bad. Within our civilian labor force, I then have the people who are unemployed, and I have the people who are employed. So to be in the civilian labor force, then, means that you are willing to work. So here I've got my willingness. Here you've got my ability. Right Here's my ability. Here's my willingness. That all adds up to willingness and ability. And then the question is, is, okay, you're able to work, you're willing to work, are you actually working? Right? To be employed means you're actually working. To be unemployed means that you are not working, but you're looking. And that's going to be important because to be discouraged means that you are not working but you're also not looking. So you have to be looking for work to be considered unemployed. Uh, if we want to just find out how many people are employed, um, our number of employed people um, is 154154. Four nine four zero zero zero. So that would mean one six one one four six zero 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 minus one five four four nine four zero zero zero. It's going to give me our difference of six million six hundred and fifty two thousand people who are looking for a job, but are can't find one. Which would mean then that my unemployment rate would equal then 6,652,000 over 161146000. Multiply that all by 100. And that's going to give me 4.128% essentially. Um, and that would be a good kind of general understanding of what my unemployment rate is. So this chart is useful because it helps us understand how all these things are created. But through this page, you then basically get a sense of what is unemployment. You get a sense of how everyone is categorized. You get your definition of how um, unemployment is computed, and you get a difference between what it means to be unemployed versus what it means to be not in the labor force.